Hello, I'm Dr. V and welcome to my Ocean ABC. Today we'll be talking about marine creatures starting with the letter B. First up is the barnacle, which is a sticky little creature that has shells and likes to attach to things. You may have seen these at your local rock pool. In some cases, barnacles are known to attach to moving objects like whales, where they can travel throughout the sea filtering little microscopic particles into their mouth using little arm-like appendages. The second bee animal is the biggest of all in the ocean, which is known as the blue whale, which can grow up to 30 metres long, or as long as two big school buses in length. These animals also talk to each other across the ocean using low frequency sounds. Next up, we move all the way to the Galapagos Islands off Ecuador, where we speak about the booby bird, which is one of my favorite species of seabird. In fact, the blue-footed booby has bright blue feet. The brighter the blue feet they have, the more likely they are to attract the ladies. And finally, our last blue ocean creature is the blue tang, which is also known as Dory from Finding Dory and Finding Nemo. These fish are known as surgeon fish, and the reason for that is because they've got this funny little spine on the back or near their tail on either side, and this can help protect them from predators. Now that's our four bee studying ocean creatures, but before I leave, I always like to finish on a question, and the question that we have comes from an online source today, and it is, what do sharks eat? Well, sharks eat a variety of things and they kind of act like vacuum cleaners of the ocean. We all know that they like to eat fish or other, other types of sharks, but they can in fact help provide important ecological roles in our marine environment by feeding on dead carcasses or dead whales. In fact, I've seen sharks eating on a dead whale off Sydney, Australia, and they play important roles to help make sure that these animals are broken up and dist distributed around the ocean environment. Well, that's all for today. I hope you can join me on my next video session. Keep learning and I'll talk to you soon.